Imagine having complex heart surgery, leaving the hospital in two days, being back at work in two weeks, and a surgeon's hands never actually touches you. We're going to meet a woman this morning who had it done. First, American Morning's Chris Lawrence shows us her unusual surgery. You need to re-engage your uh, right arm. Tiny robotic fingers are moving precisely around this woman's heart. There it is. I get it. Metal hands manipulated by the actual surgeon who sits several yards away. And if all goes well, this mother of three will be back to work in a couple weeks. We don't crack the chest, we don't cut the bone, we don't have to rewire it back together. For the last six months, Renee LePage has been exhausted. I would come home, make dinner, sit down, I would be asleep. But she's a working mom with three teenagers and chalked it up to that. I think women tend to rationalize, saying, well, you know, I'm a little tired, but I, I guess I, I have reason to be tired. And so I never really thought it was a problem. A doctor's visit detected the cause. Renee's heart valve was damaged. It could possibly fail. She opted for surgery using a relatively new but minimally invasive system called Da Vinci. It was initially developed to allow military doctors to remain in their city and operate on wounded soldiers miles away. Even the steadiest surgeon has minor vibrations in his hands. The Da Vinci corrects for that shaking, allowing more precision than is humanly possible. It's as if our hands and our wrists are inside the chest wall of the patient. And so the combination of 3D vision plus better flexibility of the instruments gives us a dramatically better control. Renee looks forward to having the energy of a 48-year-old instead of someone 20 years older. So many people depend on you, especially if you're a mom, you're running around, but you're nearly not good for, to anyone if you're not in good health. Thanks to the surgery, she should be just fine. Chris Lawrence, CNN, Long Beach, California. Renee LePage is with us from Los Angeles. Good morning. Nice to see you. How are you feeling? You look terrific. Good morning. I'm, I'm feeling well, thank you. Excellent. So tell me how, how it went. Um, how Overall, did you, did, were you concerned going in about the robotics of the surgery, or did you feel pretty confident that you'd be getting the same attention as if the doctor was sort of hands in you? Um, yeah, I, I wasn't apprehensive at all. I was really, I had all the confidence in my surgeon and the facilities and you know, the staff, so um, I was I was really anxious to get this problem taken care of. Yeah, I bet you were. Now, there are many people who choose robotic surgery or have used it in the past because they can't be near a doctor. If you're in a remote location, it works because the doctor's at a distance. Correct. Of course, your doctor's in the next room. Why pick to have him do it remotely when he's actually just operating from the next room? Well, because um, well, my cardiologist uh, felt that it was uh, the most least invasive um, procedure to take care of my problem and um, Dr. Bethencourt had a wonderful reputation he's, he's a great surgeon and um, how it was explained to me was that um, even though he's in the same room having the robotics he's looking at a screen um, via a, a scope that's inside of my heart so he's able to see the intricacies much clearer you know up uh, the tiniest bit much better than the naked eye so I thought it's just a win-win I thought it would be an excellent way to get my problem taken care of and, and did, it, did you feel like your recovery went better because you did it remotely well I, I'm not sure because I hadn't had the um, the, the, the more conventional way but uh, given the choice of whether to go have um, have the procedure done through small incisions with the robotic arms as opposed to have my sternum caught and have my ribs open you know mm -hmm. I just think that that uh, the trauma to your body is uh, reduced greatly through the robotics so I think that that's, that's more the reason why I chose it. I know you've got three teenagers which is really <laughs> enough to wipe anybody out of course <laughs> um, but do you feel like you got your energy back? I know that was a big complaint for you well, um, I'm still in the process. I, I feel very, very well. Um, 
now I'm more under the care of my cardi uh, my cardiologist, and right now I'm um, involved in a cardiac rehab that's through the hospital. I go three times a week for uh, you know controlled exercise and whatnot. So and I'm I'm doing quite a bit of walking and um, so right now the the heart the repair uh, procedure itself went very well and everyone's always listening to my heart and monitoring my heart, um, which I'm which I appreciate greatly. But um, right now I'm still in the process of uh, you know working on uh, getting my stamina back. I'm still off of work. And, um, but I will be on the uh, exercise uh, regimen for um, about a month, well, I hope and then we'll see how it goes. <laughs> three teenagers should be taking care of mom for a change. <laughs> Renee LaPage, uh, congratulations yeah, on your, uh, your surgery. Seems like it went really well. Thanks for talking with us. Appreciate it. Thank you.